welcome everybody, this is Heaven's Army playing some Star Wars and Knights of the Old Republic. So, um, I wonder if you know what's going to be out here. And what episode I was talking about. That it's kind of the same deal as a certain level that I was on before. Leave party members and begin airlock sequence. First rise in airlock chamber, success. Releasing airlock seals, success. Yeah, it's kind of like that space thing, but uh, we got a long walk, and one way's a dead end and one way's not, and I don't remember. Okay, what is this button called? Item number six, okay. There's a dude there. Alright, we're going this way. Is there a flashlight? That would be great. Oh, we're definitely not going this way. Alright, well, we'll go this way. Oh, look at my shiny helmet. Yes, I love it. Anyway. This game has a lot of cool gadgets. Hopefully you can see. I just, I'm looking on the screen now. It is kind of dark, isn't it? I could brighten it up for you a little bit more. What's this way? You lie. There's, there's a wall there. Yeah, uh, anyway. His name is Survivor. That is an interesting name. We shall have to talk to Survivor. Who's there? You're not Cellcast, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? What's going on down here? Isn't it obvious? The Cellcast have gone insane! They're killing everything that moves! All my companions are dead. The Cellcast swarmed over us. There were dozens of them, and they they looked wrong somehow, like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell cats. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. What are you doing in in the underwater section section of the facility? I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. <laughs> mutants? <laughs> I <laughs> Okay, I'll I'll come with you. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together. But I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want. Down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. <laughs> His name is Survivor, so I mean, nothing could possibly go wrong. Right? Yeah, it's good. Okay, let's just go this way then. So I think I'm going back to the door that I was in before. If that makes any sense to you. I'm gonna hold W, maybe. No, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna walk with the mouse again. That is the other door. So I don't need to unlock it on the map. It's there. I, can, I see it. I believe. Can I? Oh, I was gonna say, can I use my force powers to run? Uh, that would have been kind of cool, actually. Uh, welded door, which means I'm not go getting in that. Oh, you walk even slower when you click on the door. All right. Interesting. I thought there was a dead end or something, so I could uh, get some treasure. Do I have a sonic? A sonic emit? Uh, okay. Emit? Yeah, emitter. Okay.
everything is destroyed. Oh, I hope you can see. I truly, truly hope you can see. This is the this is the correct way, which is the dead end, which is what I wanted. I'm glad I talked to him, and he said he was going that way. Average frag mine. Nothing else. Okay, we're out of here. Can I get a close up on my face? Okay, that's a little well, that's a little too close up, but. Nice. Excellent game. They thought of everything. <laughs> oh, why did I have to find that? I may I don't want to do that too much. <laughs> Oh my. Anyway, so we gotta go to the ocean floor, which sounds like niceness. It's a wide open, vast, beautiful thing. I mean, I'm trying to remember how this game goes. Do you instantly die at certain events? Not that anything's gonna harm me out here, of course not. But, uh, I mean, like. If you walked into the, that red mist in the Sith thing, I think you instantly die. Or you get hurt. No, yeah, you get hurt. I don't know. If you walk in front of the uh, Rancor Beast and it looks at you, you instantly die. That's that's one of those things in this game. Survivor's still surviving over there. That's good. <gasps> treasures. Come on. I believe in treasures. I don't feel any, though. So I think I think I figured out why people don't like this part of the game. It's because you have to walk a long distance. I'm gonna save. And I've only walked from here to there, and down there. <laughs> well, I don't mind this. I, I like I like I like the the universe space stuff, and I like water stuff. So it's all good. Come on, hurry up! Don't just stand there. We have to keep moving. The water is filled with gas. Um, Survivor? You are not living up to your name, Survivor. I may have to, s to point that out. And his voice changed. Like, majorly changed. He was all panicked, and then he calmed down, and then his voice got really deep. I don't think there's any... I'm not going to say that. There might actually be treasures out here. What I don't want... Did you see that happy-go-lucky shark straight in front of me now? Yeah. Let's walk towards it and find out what it does. I mean, that was a cutscene. I mean, I won't instantly get drug off to the... I'm over at the depths of the ocean. Um... Don't kill me. Are you... Are you... Are you... Are you dangerous? Oh, you take that self... Sonic... Image. I'm gonna hit number... The, the... The number six on the keyboard and see if this instantly fires. If it does, I will feel a little bit safer. Ooh, what's over here? Turn my back to the enemy. No, I'm joking. I wouldn't do that to you. Is there a shark inside the... Cool. Are you coming for me? Bring it on. Should I let him get me just to see what happens? Okay. And the, the, the six button... Uh, yeah, number six does work. So it's good. It's all good. I'm getting a like, good experience for... For whatever I'm doing to them. That shark ooh, went in there and then they sealed it in? That was the sealed off door, wasn't it? Cool. Feraxa. 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 Sounds pretty cool. <gasps> ooh. Ah, E. Let's go this way. Hi, how are you? Look 
behind you. Everything's good. It was sealed off. That's my footsteps. Oh my goodness. It's a little louder in my ears. Undead wolf, the force is strong with you. The powerful Sith you will become. Henceforth you shall be known as Heaven's Army. Thank you for that, uh, Undead Wolf. Undead Wolf, that's pretty cool of you. Um, did you do the online slash go to the lobby slash pick an empty zone so that no one challenges to fight you? And I don't have to go to the welded door. It says welded door off there into the distance. We were there before on the other side. And, uh, did you find out which player the game missed? Because I think that happened to Abess, Rex, and I as well. We, uh, we did fight as everyone. But we had to do it again with certain characters, I think it was, and eventually it popped. That trophy doesn't pop like it's supposed to pop. Oh, you're getting close. How close was that? Anyway, I'm not worried about it. Shouldn't you float a little higher? Hey, that actually still looks like a shark that way. Except it's fins upside down. Never mind. There's a door over there. That means we go this way. I'm joking. We go this way to unlock the door. Then I, we go over there. Yeah. That's the plan. Is there really nothing over here? Foot locker. Uh, through the wall game? Are you serious? That's the footlocker I've opened over there. Wow. Pressure door. Cancel. Oh, if I click onto it, it instantly sends me in. Okay, you know what? That's good. I've unlocked this part of the map, right? So then I walk over here. I get back out of here. And then I will go over to the other door. Hopefully it's unlocked. And I'm not being silly. Uh, I didn't. I'm not sure where to look. I thought I looked yes- No, you, you didn't go to the lobby yesterday. You literally have to back right out, go to the online, then instead of selecting player match, online match, you go to uh, to the lobby. Then in the lobby, uh, a world map of Japan, a small one, um, opens up and you could go to the school, you could go to the mall, just pick whichever one you want. And then you pick uh, a zone that you want to go into. I picked. A, I, I did it before I went live to, to, to let you know this. That's why I went uh, on that game for a couple of minutes before I went before I played this game. And uh, you go to lobby, pick the pick any lobby you want, and then you're walking around as you as a character. And you can walk around this video game arcade room. Then you hit square. It probably is square. <gasps> oh, nice. Anyway, I uh, hit square and. Can I? I am not ready for you. And uh, find find your online matches. And once you find your online matches, hit R one and R two, R R one or L two, and scroll through all the players. And if there's a one on on player matches, the game counted it. But it actually sometimes skips a player, because that's what it did to Abyss Rex and I. And then you can see who we need to play as to get that trophy to pop. Why is the battle music kicking back in? Okay, it's all good, but... Uh, I think I've been you think you've been poisoned? Of course you've been poisoned, look at you! Maybe I should cure you. That would be nice of me, wouldn't it? Oh, I don't have enough heals, powers, oh well. I don't care. Stay poisoned. Breath mask. Ooh. Breath mask. Oh, restrict it to medium armor. Immunity to poison. That would be handy. Oh, you're welcome, undead. I I do want to see what what it is that you missed, because the game I know the game did that to me as well. I fought as everyone, in order, so we didn't miss, and we also did the DLC characters, just because it was an extra extra fight, and it helped. There's people alive here. Any, anyway, we did it. I can do what I want, kind of. On, on this game, I kind of can, yeah. 
They don't notice me. Let's just walk away. Ooh, treasure. I like it. I just love opening up a door and then there's just a whole bunch of treasure chests in one room. Or gold or whatever it is. I love it. No, no, you can't come in here. You'll let the Faraxa and the Cell Cap in. No, stay out. Stay out. I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them. Kill them now. Okay, he's actually going to kill me. Uh, deactivate. You no. psycho. No. The Faraxa will get us. They're outside no. in the water. The cell cap are coming. They're over in the other no. doorway. No! No! Ah! Stop screaming. Oh, sorry. Stop screaming! Ah, no! You, Sammy. Sammy, calm down. I don't think they're here to kill us. Uh, Kono! Oh no! Are, are they? Yes. I think they're here to help us. <laughs> I, nope. I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know what came over me. I, I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frax and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our cell cath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team? My team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me? I I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the cell cath outside the doors every once in a while and strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. Oh, I'm supposed to save you. And undead? Sorry it took me so long to reply. I saw your reply. It's just... I try not to talk over video game stuff. You know that by now. Um, I'm stuck on the last five as well. Or, or the last six. I got to 19 to some people, or 20 with some other people, but yeah. Those are the hard ones. In the last challenge, number 25, you have to do like over 6,000 damage in one combo. Not looking forward to it. You tried to kill me. Look, I'm sorry. I have just been under a lot of strain recently. You know, the whole thing about having my entire research team devoured before my eyes. Kono, Kono, calm down. Don't talk to him like that. We've gone through a lot, and we said we were sorry for the mistake we made. Just, huh? I'm sorry for my actions, but, but what are you doing here? <laughs> I am wearing a Sith uniform, and you're asking me what I'm doing here. Well... I love the platinum that game, yeah. But as you saw, um, um, you, I, I don't. That game takes practice, is what I'm going to say. You can't hop into any fighting game with that type of tech, technical buttons and be good at it. I mean, unless you're, a, you're a natural, or that game is your game. I was like you as well, but I've played a couple of matches, and I've gotten better, and. What I'm good at is timing on all video games, so I kind of get all right with that. But as you saw last night, my timing was off a lot. But um, how about how about I ask the questions? Oh, okay. <laughs> what is it you want to know? I don't know if I could if I can live stream it. I will on dead. But if if we'll see what how the people what the people want. If the if the if the people vote for that game, then why not? Have you seen a star map? This is my quest. A star map? I don't know anything about a star map down here. But there were some ruins that were excavated when we were digging the foundations for the last section of the Colto harvesting machine. But we can't go anywhere near those now. Maybe, maybe that's why it all happened in the first place. Something happened in the ruins? We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. 
Then there was this rumbling and my head felt like it was splitting open. This this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxis shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Selkaths started screaming too. And they turned on us. She's a good actress. Um, it was protecting something? May. May have been. Maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things too. <laughs> you, is that so undead? I did not know that. Well, there you go. I uh, I challenge you to all fighting games from now on. If ever we decide to play games, uh, it's going to be a fighting game. So I can always win. <laughs> uh, like what? Oh, wait. How could you miss something that big living here? I don't know. It seems impossible, but maybe whatever sort of power it used to drive the Selkath insane masked it from us somehow. Maybe it was lying dormant deeper in the rift. I think it might live there. Live there because of the Kolto. Maybe. That would explain more. Why, why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. With Kolto as a food source. And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. You think so? <laughs> you think so? I don't know about that. I don't, I'm not a shooter. I'm a sniper, so snipers don't belong in shooter games. Where is this monster Firaxan now? I don't know. It must still be out there. Out there, waiting for us. For you two, yeah. So what can I do about it? The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. What does this compound do? The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Kolto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. How do I poison the shark? Because that sounds like the most evil way. You can take this canister of toxin. We were working on it just before the giant shark drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kolto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxan shark. What other choice do I have, though? Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. I'm not so sure. I am sure. You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel, so the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But, but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work. It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. <laughs> First of all, did you see the glare glare that she gave me? That was quite the glare. And a, a Resident Evil reference huh, for the giant shark, maybe. 
I'll do what I want and kill both of you as well. What? No! Run, Kono, he's one of them! Oh, this game, um, never ceases to amaze me. Another victory for Heaven's Army? I mean, Revan. I'm not, I'm just, yeah, I'm definitely not them. Uh, I'm not, I'm not this guy. This is, this is definitely not Heaven's Army. Pressure door. They could have escaped any time with, oh, with that suit. Anyway, did I actually get that or did I click a button and mess, mess it up? Okay, like, it instantly gives it... Well, you know what? They tried to kill me first. That is my line of defense. You're fishy fishies. They're running away. Chickens. I'm very strong, it seems. Very, very strong. What is that on the ground? I saw it this time! It was a landmine! I just didn't know what it completely was and stepped into it. Like a champion. Ooh. Pressure door. Sea floor. Airlock. Sea floor. Interesting. We are going this way, I guess. You know what? Any time, any time would be good. All day Saturday, even. All day. From when I wake up... Oh, I did not see you! I panicked and hit the, the that button numerous times. Okay, we're okay now. That was uncool, game. That was more scary than Resident Evil. So, there's a door here. Is that the door I just walked from? Well, I'm gonna go over and find out, actually. Why why guess when you could when you can totally just go over and find out. So yeah, all day Saturday. The moment I wake up, which would be like who knows what time. A couple hours advanced in your time. Am I oh I'm back here. I don't remember this doorway. I remember that oh that doorway and this doorway. And over here. Oh hi guys. Okay, well, I'm here now. I did not know about that door. So, now I'm curious about... the other door. No, let's just go. Let's just... I'll figure out that door in a second. No, I'm kind of curious. I'm super curious now. There's three exits. I only saw two doors. There's this one now which adds into the factor, but I came in from over there. So where is this one coming from? I came straight ahead. That was the door I came from. Because I walked in and saw them. Where is this going to take me? Is that that left door? That was the left door. Oh, uh, okay. I got it, everyone. I, I kind of want to know. Okay, I gotta read what you're saying here. What is that? Okay. I'll ask Pop when he wants to, though, then, since... It's, oh, yeah, all day is good for me, so... And since I'm a couple hours before you, you will all definitely be awake. So, that's fine. No life except video games. <laughs> and stupid work, yeah. That's what happens. Alright, so that's my shortcut back out, actually. You don't have to go through this spot to get over to where I was before. You just go through that door. That's a cool setup. Oh, I like it. But yeah, you you and Pop Cynical figure it out, and uh, I will be there all day Saturday. We can get this done. 
so that you guys are will be squared away on Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Now, those other people listening, Heaven's Army, I may have time now <laughs> for a little bit. Then this is like 2016, early, very early 2016. Um, I may not be able to do this for everyone who asks me. Um, <laughs> I am, I am good with my time for making time, but. I am working and, and doing this. So, the good way is to actually destroy the machinery and, and allow the Fraction Shark to go away. Oh, you instantly die? Oh, I just see how close I can get. This is a little bit of a waste of time, but you, I, wanna, I want to show you how big the shark is. Oh, and I best save right here, just in case if that... Oop, nope, not, not, not load. Save. Yes. Let's get a little closer. It's kind of like that dragon thing in the cave, and it's kind of like the, uh... Oh, let's get a little closer. Ah, a little closer. It's called a sea beast. Come here, little sea beast. You don't look so big. Well, you're getting bigger and bigger every time I make a step, but you're not so big. I mean, your fin is the side... Eh, let's get a little closer. We'll, we'll try to run away. <laughs> oh crap, a little too close. Wait, why am I not running? Why, run! There you go, there's some Resident Evil stuff for you right there. Um, that will do. Did I do a Mortal Kombat screen? Anyway, I'm glad I saved back here. That was, that was... There's your horror for tonight. So yeah, destroy the machine, good. Poison the entire ocean is evil. So we are totally going to feed f toxin into the vents. Foreign substance detected. Venting. Success. Oh, get right in there. Yeah, breathe that toxin. Think of it as an inhaler for asthma. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that stuff. Why is it spreading like that? Oh well, that's probably bad. That was not a shark. <laughs> oh, that was totally a shark. So, we're gonna walk back this way again. Hopefully this time I'm not gonna get eaten alive. Is that my juicy star map? That that uh, sea monster slash giant Firaxon shark was defending? Do you see how the top of the ocean up there is like spinning? Is that okay? Does that normally happen? I didn't really go deep sea diving to know that the water does that. I don't think it does. <gasps> Slow motion walk to the star map. Oh, this this, this is totally a cutscene. Are they RPGs on dead? The legend. Oh, Legend of Heroes is definitely RPG. Tales in the sky. I didn't hear of it. Hey, there. Oh, there's tri triangles are flashing. I think they're actually going to give me a court. Something is happening. And only I get to see it because I'm Revan. I mean, no, you could have did it the other way. Other people could have seen this. But I don't know what I'm looking at. It's cool. It's beautiful. Items received. Journal entry added. I guess my job here is done. I poisoned the ocean. Killed the shark. Killed everyone down here, including the people I was supposed to save. Um, I think I did my job as a Sith. I, I believe I've came and conquered. Yep, it's a JRPG. It's massive. It's, it's a PSP game, but you can play it on the Vita and PSTV. Now you're talking. 
I can live stream those. Trust me, you should look into it. Alright, I'll take a look into it indeed. Any game, any RPG game that you can list off that you think I may not have played, or even if you want to hint, hint me a game to play, go for it. I will gladly take a look at all the games that people tell me to play. Just in your best interest, keep it RPG. I'm going to try to play all the RPGs out there. Oh, that's so much more quieter than... Oh, that doesn't make noise. Interesting. Why doesn't these make noise? Why does this dirt make noise? Anyway, we won't question it. We'll just continue on. <laughs> I am I am doing this on live and for YouTube, so I try to chat to the live people and the YouTube lovelies. Um, so I try to keep it cheeky as possible. Cheeky is definitely okay. Not too cheeky, but cheeky. So never click on the doors because he walks super slow when you click on something. You're better off walking right to the door and then clicking. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. We got people back. Oh, look how fast I move. Oh my goodness. This is like super speed. Where am I at? And this will probably be like super duper speed. Oh yeah, look how fast I go. Am I even going the right way? I'm probably not. I'm just no, this is the correct way, because that's the dead end. Didn't even open up the door so fast. Ah oh, speed. Okay, well, maybe I should cure myself. I'm thinking something bad could happen. Alright, looking good. I like the submersible can be used to ascend to Auto City. Use the submersible. Ah, uh, now we get the uh, going up scene instead of going down scene. Cool. <laughs> Alright, oh, he's there waiting for me. I, might, I may be in trouble. We may have to fight our way out of this. Uh, uh, keep calm. I did nothing. They were all dead. That was my did story. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? No, nothing's down there. Uh, your construction woke something up, troublemaker. Why can't I click on anything? Hold on, I'm gonna click off the screen and back on. I can't seem to click on anything. There we go. Something was down there? Yeah. Living in the rift by the Colto? Yeah. A giant... I, a gigantic for I can't even speak. That's not good. A gigantic fraction shark that drove all the Selkath insane. It's horrible. It the is. Entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? The cultos seem to have been contaminated. Contaminated? That's. That's much worse than I would ever have thought possible. Was it me? It might have been better to lose the entire facility rather than damage the cult of supply. Yeah. This must remain entirely secret. Oh no. We cannot allow anyone to find out that we damaged the cult of production. Or we would be banned permanently from the planet. That's we the plan. We can only hope that the damage that was caused will go away in time. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that I thank you. Oh, you're oh. welcome. And did you end up finding your star map? Uh, none of your business. I'll assume that means yes. As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. <laughs> Perhaps we can work together in the future. Oh, trust me. Oh, evil points, dark side points. Yeah, hey, we're doing good. We're doing good. Am I still on fire? Wrong button. Whoops. Yeah, I'm still on fire. Look at the background. That's a sparkly background. Nice. We're, we're, we're still good. Um, so I, I probably just ruined the entire Republic on this, on this uh, lovely planet. But hey, that's what Sith do. Security droid. Why is this door locked? What's well, with the cutscene? Oh, do you have guns? What what are you doing? Stop, human. The flow of Colto to the surface has been virtually cut off. With what does arrive with what does arrive cor corrupted. You have been known 
been known to ask questions about this, and our spy monitors in the Republic Embassy recorded you leaving in the submersible that descended to the Herakard Rift. They know about it? You will come with us immediately and answer for your actions, or you will be forced to forced to take you by forced to take you by force. Cool. Um, you will never take me alive. Is that my option? <laughs> it's top. You'll never take me alive. Do do not be foolish, little human. We have the entire armed force of Manon at our disposal. Should you attempt to resist, you would be overwhelmed before you even reached your ship. I want to try this. Now come with us. Oh, you did not let me fight you all. You are so lucky. I am... I am... Okay, I guess I'm back into the court again. How many times have I been here? Silence, this is not for outsiders to hear. What did you just say? I missed it. Well, human, you find yourself in the most difficult situation. The Herakard Rift is the most precious resource on Manan, and anything that threatens it or the culto it produces threatens our entire species. We will not tolerate threats to our neutrality or ex existence and our way of life. So much reading. As much as we would admire your Republic and your Order in particular, I believe you will have a hard time explaining your role in this incident adequately. The flow of pure culto has stopped coming up from the ocean floor. Your submersible arose at approximately the same time this occurred. We have deemed you responsible. If the Republic has broken its neutrality treaty with us, the repercussions shall be grave indeed. Oh, we're going to get them in trouble. We have... What have you done to the cult of supply? We warn you, human. If you lie to us, we will know. Ah, the culto is just fine! Oh, or I could lie. The Sith were trying to poison the culto supply. Oh, can I try to lie and get myself in huge trouble? So yeah, I'd, uh... Okay, uh, hey, Heaven's Army, did you hear that Capcom are bringing Breath of Fire 3 <gasps> to PSN in February? No, but that sounds great. It's the P PSP version. That's fine. And I'll be playing on the PS TV. Of course I will play that on the PS TV. Um, can I lie? No, I want the Republic gone. I can force persuade? No, let's not. I guess you'll find out anyway. The harvester machinery released the toxin into the water. Harvesting machinery? What are you talking about? We know of this. What? I will... It will be discussed later. This cannot be kept silent. The council will... The council will hear nothing of this, and you will keep your silence or be ejected from the court. But we cannot... Silence! <laughs> Sorry, that face was too zoomed in. Uh, what has happened to the reserve situation? What... Why was a toxin released? If you were responsible, you'll be banned from Manon. Oh no, it's not my fault. The harvester malfunction? Oh, I wanted to kill the giant fraction shark, so I poisoned it. The entire... The entire station had been driven mad. Mad? I find that hard to believe, human. We did receive those transmissions just before the station went silent. Ask the human what happened. Well, human, what drove all the sentients down there mad? A giant Firaxan shark was woken up by the harvester. I could lie. I I wanna I wanna ruin the Republic. Yeah, I, a giant Firaxan shark was woken up by the harvester. The toxin was used against a giant Firaxan. A giant Firaxan? Could it be? Impossible. It is only a legend. But he said he killed it, didn't he? No. You killed the shark, human. Uh. Uh, the shark had driven everyone mad. He killed it. Progen, no. We did not know for certain if it was our mythical ancestor. None have seen it. What else could it be? It is the life giver of our species. Uh oh. I may have killed their entire life giver of species, whatever that is. The human was the. Sh uh oh. Regain your control. We are not emotional or logical like offworlders. We can deal with this. No, no, no! This thing, this human, should die for what he has done. We should kill him now, before anyone knows. 
No, there are others who would notice his absence and begin asking difficult questions. What is going on in this courtroom? We can we cannot ban the Republic for its actions. The Sith would gain too much, but we cannot let you go unpunished. For your crimes against Manon and the Selkath, you are banned forever from this world on pain of death. If you know who you were dealing with, okay, I'm gonna pick that in a second here. Let's see what Undead wrote to me. Uh, that's for the NA anyway. It's been available on the EU and Japan for wh what? Come on, why is North America taking forever to get good games? It's on sale for uh, two euros right now. Wow, buying them now. Oh, you, ch you. T uh. Anyway, I'll get it once it once it shows up over here. Whenever our PlayStation Network people decide to put those good games on for us. If you knew who you were dealing with, you are an off-worlder. Like any other, only more troublesome than most. Guard, eject this prisoner from the court. So I am officially banned. Like, like, super banned? Like, if I go out there, I die banned? Like, I wanna, I wanna find out. I am Lord Darth Revan of whatever's um droids to battle stations okay no one attacked me yet that's good Hexas Auto City denied well that's what happens when you would pollute their city and take out their mother shark or whatever that was what buying what do you mean it's not it's not euros What is it then? You're not in Denari. <laughs> what? What is it? Tell me now. I'm curious. Got something on your mind? Never mind. Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head. Yep. It? He's half senile. Yep. He'll forget I said anything. Right now. Wait. Uh, what was this about anyway? <laughs> get a good play on these people. Is that pounds? Oh right, y yeah, f that's what it was. Why is it not euros? Why is it pounds? Anyway, yeah, I should have known that. <laughs> yes, really. This card's still mad at me. You know, I don't even want to talk to him. No, maybe I should talk to him. Should I? Ah, uh, let's talk to him. I don't even know what I need to do now. Yes, what's on your mind? Never mind. You got it. They said, um, Dantooine. Dantooine's gone? Dantooine is gone! Kashik. There's two Kashiks. There's a Kashik here. Oh. Starforge system. Why is there two Kashik? Unkashik that. Okay, that's dense dent I can't click onto it, that's what's going on. Um This is like the end of the game. <laughs> hey! What's wrong with Euro? Anyway. <laughs> I guess we could go to the Starforge system? Are we really ready for this? This is like end of the game stuff here. And there's- I can't go to Dan Dantooine. This planet has no entry in the Republic archives. Oh, hold on. Something's up. Why am I here at the end of the game and no one's having a big cutscene or- or something? Somebody help me out here. How may I be of assistance to you? Padawan? I am still a Padawan, that's not cool. I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Uh, uh, nothing. No, tell me more about your past. Well, I suppose I have not talked very much about the Jedi I met back home. They, all of them, were so very invigorating. I already know about the Jedi. Talk about something else. If you do not wish to hear what I have to say, then find some other being to converse with. 
<laughs> Alright, so that was the wrong answer again. I can't seem to get Jahani's uh, conversations going. Oh, I do know how. I'm just picking those answers. Frigate, let's go to the Starforge system. Since I'm banned from this planet for just destroying everything, that's not fair. Oh, the music kicks in! This is the music that ca Ah, I like it. Alright. Things are gonna get crazy soon. to the dark side. You think torture will turn me, Malik? You are a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastila. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Never. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words. But I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> Well, Basta's having a good time. I'm glad I left her with Malik there uh, a couple episodes ago. Ooh, what a nice planet. That can't be a sun. It's... It's... Oh, that's a lot of things happening now. Oh boy. A star forge. I've never seen anything like it. It's beautiful. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. Maybe a quick strike by the Republic can cripple the Sith fleet. Who's Dodonna? Message is away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. <laughs> Why'd you say Small that? Vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. Again. Take those spiders out before they report our position to the main fleet. Can I just... No, I have to shoot them all. Alright. Oh, crap. Incoming fighters. Only two left? Darn, I did bad that time. Where'd you go, you sneaky little bugger? There you go. I was clicking because I wanted to shoot them all, We've got but problems. I skipped the scene. <laughs> We've some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing. Don't crash my ship! Karth, if you cross my ship, you are fired. You missed the planet. Oh, you're going for the other planet. <laughs> Ooh, this is a pretty planet. Nice rough landing. Have you ever played Mass Effect? Or any other game with rough landings on ships? <gasps> like Star Ocean. 
talk about your rough landings, Karth. What's the matter? You're flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian Ale drinking binge. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebonhawk airborne again. During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the hulls of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among their wreckage. The Cathar's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. Got it, so kill everyone on this planet. Uh, that's exactly what I'll do. That's what he said, right? I was zoning out there for a bit. I wonder why the Sith ships aren't affected by the disruptor field. They must have some kind of protection against it, but the Republic fleet won't. We have to find a way to disable that disruptor field, or the Sith will slaughter them. Uh, why don't C3's I? C3's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. <gasps> but I want to take out the Republic. So why why are why am I doing this? You all seem to be forgetting about Bastla. No, I won't say that. Hey, I thought we needed to find some stabilizers for the ship. The stabilizers won't do much good if we don't disable that disruptor field first. Otherwise, we'll end up crashing back down to the planet's surface again, and this time, we might not survive. Hey, don't forget about Bastila, guys. Oh, she Still brought her up. Rescue her too. I only hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him, and the Sith will be invincible. This will be my fourth time going through this game. All the ways through. Um, even together, they are no match for me. Remember? I remember. Though I hoped you would not be so quick to embrace the being you once were. If Bastila feels as you do, then she is lost to us, Revan. If Bastila joined Malik, then she'll suffer the same fate as he does. Let us hope it does not come to that. <laughs> well, if Bastila's on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. If we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. Evil points! <laughs> How do I get so many evil points? I love it. Got something on your mind? So what do you think of Sunri's verdict? You defended him well enough. I wish we had time to look into matters more fully. But wishing is only useful for the young and idealistic. What's done is done. The Republic will likely appeal the matter eventually and he'll be free. I just... I just would like to know if that's best. Sunri was a good man once, and a good friend. I'll miss him. I, uh, I don't want to talk about this anymore. My jaw aches. I tried to get him, like, murdered, but I, I failed at that. Yes. What is it? Nothing right now. Maybe later. Of course. I... I think this has affected me in ways I, I didn't anticipate. I think I'll need time to sort things out. Thanks for what you did. Whatever your intentions might have been, I just need time. Oh yeah, we killed we killed Joggy. All right, did time pass? Yeah. What do you want? Uh, I guess it passed. Tell me when you worked for Davik. Working for Davik was like driving a spike through the side of your head. Sure, you got something new in there, but in the end, you've lost something as well. Beating up people who wouldn't or couldn't pay, strong arming his competitors, killing who he said—it was busy work. Nothing decent. That's the way things should be done. Maybe. I've killed many people. I can't say I'm proud of it, but I have. Criminals, competitors, businessmen, police, women, children. Jedi were a better challenge. But they hardly ever poked around in the Undercity. Until you came along. But I never wanted to challenge you. Never felt the need. Maybe I knew I couldn't win. Just like all those years ago. <laughs> Where did the uh, subtitles go for that line? I, I'm paying attention, game. Where did the subtitles go? You know I had beaten you again. Maybe you would have. 
But you're not who you were back then. I can tell. You've changed. And maybe I have to. I remember a time when I could do anything I wanted. Kill, maim, murder. It was all the same to me. But now, now that I am older, I can look back and regret. Oh, do not. I regret to tell you that I never regret anything. Ha! <laughs> Good one! That's like a warrior should. Like what you'd see in a Mandalorian. In a Mandalorian. I'm not even sure what that is anymore. The Mandalorian are gone, defeated by the Republic, and swept away by time. I look back and regret all the chances I had as a warrior. And then all the chances I've had since then. I, I shouldn't be getting like this. Not when so many other things are happening, but... It feels like... Like something has changed inside and I don't know what it is. Bah! This is unbecoming a warrior! Let's get on with everything before I start getting sentimental or something. Is there something else you want to know? If you get sentimental, I'm gonna shoot you. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Well, that wasn't the line. That was me talking. Uh, I just said nothing more for now, actually. <laughs> What are you going to say now, Karth? Yes, what's in your mind? No, do you know anything about this place? I don't really know much about this place. Sorry. Useless. You got it. Crash my ship. Don't know nothing about this place. Why do I even keep you with me, Karth? That, that guy. That guy. Alright, so I'm here on this planet. Um, I think this planet's actually pretty rough. Like, very rough. So do I want Jedi's with me to help, or do I just want to get my droids to unlock everything, and be done with the game? Ah, droids. I I I I choose. Okay, so my ship does not look very crashed, but anyway, that everyone's saying he crashed it. So, oh, Gizka, that's where they come from. What can I do to it? Nothing. Okay. You're lucky you're not on my ship, because I killed all of you last time. Yeah. Evil. I know. I see treasure chests. Batter to footlocker. No traps. Okay. No traps. Okay. He I think I, I can't see bombs, so it's, it's not what? good. Ooh, wait a minute. We'll go this way. It says... The map says there's something over here, but I think they're lying. So, Dantooine has apparently exploded. Taurus has definitely exploded. Manan I'm kicked off of forever. Um, I killed all the Sith Masters on Korriban. Now, I actually wiped out everyone in Korriban. My goodness, yeah, everyone started attacking me in the... In the Sith um, place, and then I killed all of them. Uh, and what else did I do in this game? Because we're we're nearing the end, like nearing. As in, we're not at the end, but we're nearing it. <laughs> there could be much more to this game than just this planet. You never know. But uh, there's people up there. Anyway. Dar nice battle cry! And I'm gonna pause time, because I have power to do that. And then click on you. Why? Okay, there we go. I think my character's gone mad. Wow. I feel so strong. You have defeated the murderous animals. We thank you, human, for saving us. Uh, if I had known you were there, I would have waited a couple of minutes. If you had had waited for a better opportunity, yes. But then we would have been in danger. But I can see your point. You are smart as well as valorous. We thank you again for saving us. I meant that as a threat. Anyway. Actually, I, I'm not here to save you. You you are not? Then what are you here for? I'm here to finish the job they started. What? You? No! 
And repressed. There you go. They didn't drop anything. What? What? Ugh, anyway, it doesn't matter. This game is being stingy and not giving me drops. I'm telling you. Knows I'm live or something. Oh, hi. Choked him and then zapped him. That's kind of cruel. T3 and HK. No item drops. This way's a dead end. Why? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just guessing, actually. <laughs> I have no idea which way is a dead end. It's a Gizga! Fire! It's coming straight for us! Actually, this is not looking like a dead end anymore. Temple exterior. Darn it. Now we're going this way then. <laughs> this is what I guess for this is what I get for guessing. Ooh. That is nice. Look at my beautiful ship. Can I have that one? No, I want that one. I want the Ebonhawk. What am I who am I kidding? Of course I want the Ebonhawk. Okay, so if that's the the ruins, we're going not that way. I want to explore. There's more exits. Why is there so many exits? I see that way over there. Wait, isn't there a bunch of bombs somewhere on this planet? I do remember that. A bunch of landmines, I mean. Uh, around treasure chest. Of course you run at it. This is another exit. North Beach. That seems good. HK-47, where are you? What? There you are. Alright, let's go. Why am I spinning? Why am I spinning? Oh, okay. Sorry, you got you got to see uh, whatever that was. What the heck did I click on? I have no idea what that was. That is rancor beasts. Stay your weapons, interloper. Don't call me interloper. We are not here for battle or blood. We bring you an invitation from the one great champion of the Rakata. An invitation? What kind of invitation? Query. You are able to comprehend the speech patterns of these organics? You must have visited this planet and learned their language in your previous incarnation as Darth Revan. Yay! You have used strange magics and weapons to slaughter our raiding parties, interloper. You have bathed in the blood of fierce Rakatan warriors. You know what? Force persuade. I don't have to come with you. You tried to use magic on us, interloper. We are a Rakata. You cannot bend us to the will. <laughs> okay. I can't use it on them. I, the will of the one cannot be denied, interloper. Interloper, you will come with us and see our new champion, or our rancor war beast will destroy you. Oh my goodness! The last time I tried this, was I able to take them on or not? I think I actually could fight them. I think. You know what? Just take me to the one. I'm too. I'm too lazy to fight you all. Just kidding. I. I just. I don't. I. The last time I fought the Rankers, I don't know if they instantly killed me or not. It's been way too long since I've been to this point. But I'm most likely going to kill everyone. Don't worry about that. I will most likely kill everyone in this place. Revan, somehow I knew, I knew we would meet again. Even when you vanished. I knew you would not forget the vow you swore to me. And when my scouts told me of a great warrior from the sky slaughtering our raiding parties with mysterious powers and magics, I knew you had last returned. Oh no. 
I am OP. Um, Val, I don't remember any Val. Your words are confusing. I recognize you. You are the one called Revan. You are the one who came here before. You and Malik, the one who served you. You promised to slay our enemy in exchange for aid. You swore to destroy the elders and bring us their secrets. Are you saying this means nothing to you now? Uh, I'm not going to say I'm sorry. My mind was destroyed. My memories were lost. I believe you, Revan. I sense there is something different about you. Something that has changed. You are not the same as you were before. Yet the power of magic, what you call the Force, is within you still. You can still destroy the Elders and fulfill your vow. What was this vow exactly? You vowed to kill the elders and bring us the secret knowledge they protect in exchange as we promised to use this lost knowledge to help you enter the temple temple of the ancients. Interesting. <laughs> I wasn't worried about the sharks either. Except those insta-kill scenes that I get. When you vanished, we thought you had forgotten us or been killed by the Elders. Now that you have returned, our alliance still holds. Destroy the Elders, and we will help you. Persuade Lai? No, I can't persuade Lai. It doesn't work. Temple of the Ancients? I still don't remember anything. I suppose if you say it's tr suppose that if what you say is true, that you can't remember when you were last here, then you must have many questions. Very well, Revan. I will help you understand, and then you will destroy the Elder's tribe and fulfill the oath you swore to us long ago. You should probably start with the last time I was here. You arrived with Malik, your servant. Three of your galactic standard years ago. My scouts saw your ship plummet to the earth and they went to loot the crash site. They tried to take you prisoner, but you unleashed your magic, what you call the force, upon them. Seeing your power, they bowed before you and brought you here to me. You used your power to rip the Rakata language from my mind, that's cool, and as you drove basic into our skulls, we so we could help you in your quest of finding something called the Star Forge. But the answers you sought lay within the Temple of the Ancients, and we could not help you enter the Temple. The elders alone hold the secrets, guarding them with their very lives. Okay. I need parts to repair my ship. That I cannot help you with, although we have recovered many strange devices from the sky ships that crashed to the earth, their use is a mystery to us. As a show of good faith, I will allow you to search the stores of our tribe and take whatever you find in exchange. I know you will destroy the elders and bring the secrets they guard back to me. Okay, um... You say the ship crashed, was it because of some disruptor field? I know nothing of this disruptor field, but throughout the history of our tribe, ships have fallen from the sky and it's always been this way, though in recent generations it has become more frequent. We have little understanding of such magic to make metal fly, but my scouts rush to take whatever we can carry from the crash sites in the hopes we may one day unlock these secrets. This is how we acquired the Rancor War Beast. Several very young specimens were recovered from a crashed vessel. We raised them into adulthood, training and breeding them to be loyal beasts of war. That's kind of crazy. Um, tell me more about the Elders. The elders guard the ancient secrets within their compound is the knowledge of power and magic, including the knowledge of how to enter the temple itself. I have lost many warriors storming the gates to their compound, but they use weapons of light and fire against us, and not even our war beasts are strong enough to breach their defenses. So, he's actually watching a let's play of it, so it's good timing. Okay, uh... 
Breath of Fire 3. Oh my goodness, I want to watch that too. Sometimes we can capture an Eldar when they venture forth from their compound, so we have learned something about them. That is how we know they guard the ancient gate. Okay. But no matter what tortures we inflict upon them, they will not reveal their secrets to us. They fear the knowledge they themselves guard, so they will never willingly surrender it to us. Tell me more about the Temple of the Ancients, considering I can't seem to not help you. There is little I can tell you about the temple. I know the secrets of our ancestors are contained within, but the temple itself is barred to us. When last you were here, you and Melek sought to enter the temple. You sought ancient knowledge and the way to escape this world within the stone walls. But only the elders know how to bypass the barrier that surrounds it. Destroy them and bring back their secrets to us, and we will help you enter the temple. That was our agreement. I'll be back after I kill the elders. The compound of the elders is to the south, beyond the temple of the, of the ancients. From torturing a few elders, we have captured, we know something of what lies beyond the gates. The elders are few in number. If you can get past the exterior defenses, you can surely slaughter them all. Then you can bring us back the knowledge they guard. If I kill the elders, how can I bring the, you their secrets? There was one prisoner, an elder whose mind broke beneath our tortures. He raved of ancient rituals, the lost power and forgotten secrets. Unfortunately, most of his dying screams made no sense. Okay. Yet, in his last hours, he spoke of a book, an ancient tome that recorded the most powerful knowledge of the elders, and, and detailed... Detail the rituals that could unleash the, the secrets. Now, I'm certain this ancient tome will, will allow me to unleash what, what has, for so long, been hidden to the elders. Bring me this book and I will use my knowledge within it to help you enter the temple. Lie, don't worry, I'll slay the elders and honor our deal. When you have it, bring it here to me. Until then, you may move freely about our village. I'll be waiting for your return. Alright, so I want to kill everyone. I don't know how to go about this. So, we are going to end the live stream now so I can figure out what I need to do to kill everyone. All of these people are dying. All, even you. Yeah, you, the one Neo, Neo copy person. Anyway, we're, uh, we'll, we'll figure out how to do this next episode. So... Thank you all for showing up and watching. If you like what I do, hit those buttons. You know what they do by now. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care.